Welcome to Sanya with me. Oh boy. When it's cold in China, I always go to Sanya. I booked a domestic airline I've never even heard of, and that was the smallest seat I've ever seen on a flight. But it's okay, we made it to Sanya. Reunited with my parents after my red eye. I knocked out after the flight in our retirement house in Sanya. First day, we're off to see Lu Beito, which is the highest point of the whole city in Sanya. We're riding the bus up the hill, refreshing with some red tea, just taking a stroll up the mountain, seeing all of the pedestrians, and spotted one foreign tourist who looked at me, and I looked away. Walking to our dinner spot, found some ice cream on the way. It was over 30 Celsius that day. Checking out this gorgeous bay. This is our dinner spot of this villa. We were the only dinner guests of that night. That was Christmas Eve. And did I say it was Christmas? Look at this cute little bear. Play some card games called Guan Dan, which is the most famous Chinese card game. And we ate so much seafood with lobsters, shrimps, and all these like really fancy dishes. And these are the iconic four buildings of Sanya. I forgot what they're called. Let me know if you know. I'm taking some forest photos before we left. And the next day, we went to the Sea World. I'm just. Passing by a bunch of tourists while recording myself on the phone, all these people behind me just judging. But it's okay, I'm just having a good time. This is my mom. Say hi. I'm my dad in the frame. Say hi. <laughs> the Sea World is actually a huge aquarium inside a six-star hotel called Atlantis. I love this hotel. If you book one of the rooms for like a thousand dollars a night, I guess you can actually see the aquarium from your room. I didn't believe it either, but this hotel actually has another giant water park with a lot of water sports and water rides like turfing and slides. I don't know what happened there. I'm just trying to vlog, guys. And that was the most scary slide we did not try. But we ended the night with a cool water show with all these crazy people doing flips on the water and so many drones doing cool light effects I've never seen before, and some kids going clubbing. <laughs> And the next day, it was Christmas Day. I'm going surfing. My parents and I would grab hot pot before I was off to the beach. It was a nice day at the beach. I was looking for my surf club, getting super lost, but finally found it with this beautiful infinity pool and a lot of colorful seaboards. Now it's time to apply some sunscreen before my surf. I'm using this cute little clay stick. It comes in many colors. I picked orange because it's close to my skin color. It's better for the corals and the fish than regular sunscreen, and it's really fun. It actually feels like face painting. Now I'm inside the surf club's tiny changing room and shower room in one, trying to get my wetsuit and get ready. Finally inside the water. This is the most anticipated part of my trip. Today I'm learning how to catch a wave on my own, paddling. And taking off all by myself. I think I did pretty well, but that was hella scary, guys. <laughs> My paddling face was not super nice, so I had to cut it out. So you guys not suffer with me. We did it. Done with surfing before sunset. Trying to grab some snacks before we leave this beautiful village called Ho Hai Tsun, which literally means the village behind the sea. Right next to the beach, in the middle of the village, it's a big seafood marketplace. Trying to eat some squid my dad bought me, but I don't even know how to take a bite because it's so huge. But it was delicious. Very satisfied. And my dad and I tried to go for a Thai massage, but the spot was closed, so we went to a supermarket instead. There's all this cheap selection. I just love supermarkets in China. And my dad's checking out. Of course, he's my sugar daddy, literally, of this whole trip, and applying some face mask to counteract the sun damage we've got today. 
and that was bedtime. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.